Hi, my name is Dan Wilton. Uh, I'm a photographer based in London. Um, I work predominantly in portraiture and fashion um, with a bit of a documentary twist. Um, I do a lot of work in the music industry and I like to keep doing personal projects in the background as much as possible. My first paid commission was, um, well, I, I'm, uh, I'm completely self-taught. Um, I, I never assisted anyone um, and I kind of sort of fell into photography. I didn't really have a plan um, for it. So I think my first, very first paid commission was shooting a cocktail party on a boat, um, which I shot on black and white film on a, an old Olympus OM20. And at the time I had my own darkroom, which I was sort of built in a shed in the garden. So I developed all the film myself and, and made some really, I think I gave them like 10 really nicely done um, 10 by 8 hand prints um, and they were completely baffled by what I was on about. My first proper pay commission um, was probably, well, it would have been Rusco, um, who was a big dubstep guy at the, at the time. Um, and we did a, a portrait shoot in my studio, which he ended up using as his album artwork. Um, and I think it was, well, it was voted by Fact Magazine as one of the worst album covers of the year. Um, so that was my first award. Um, the biggest error I've ever made as, as a photographer was uh, when I was shooting um, MGMT in their hotel room. And I had about, I think I had six minutes with them. Um, and I decided I was going to shoot against the studio background. So it took me a couple of minutes to set that up. Um, the, their manager's already sort of looming over their shoulder, pointing at his watch. Um, and I started shooting. My plan was to shoot. I had a bunch of different cameras I was shooting with, which is already a stupid idea. Um, and I was um, going to double expose some rolls of film, so shoot them twice to make it more interesting. And um, I think I had like two minutes left, and uh, one of them pointed at the camera and sort of said, what's that? And I thought he was asking what the camera was. And it was a, a rangefinder, so you can't see through the lens. And so I just explained what the camera was, and then he said, um, no, what's that? Isn't that a lens cap? And I've been shooting the whole thing with the lens cap on. So then I had about a minute and a half left, um, still double exposing um, rolls of film, and um, then I sort of left completely heartbroken. Um, then the film came out and it looked great. My favorite photographic tool is probably this, which is a Mamiya RZ. Um, it's really big, it's really heavy, it's really beautiful. Um, it's great to look through, I love the viewfinder. Um, and it really slows down the way I shoot. Um, I can sometimes be quite trigger happy, which you can't really be with this. Um, I, I love shooting film, I, I think, 80% 90% of my work is shot on film. I do shoot digital sometimes if a client really wants that. All my personal work is shoot on film. Um, but the thing I really like about it is, is when you're shooting portraits with it, um, you get a real sense of occasion when you're shooting with a camera like this and you get a totally different reaction from, from the sitter. Um, I did a personal project um, about people in, in Runyon Canyon in LA last year and I was sort of spent five days up on top of Runyon Canyon with this and the reaction you get with people with this as opposed to a digital camera is, is completely different. And obviously it's it's six, seven, so the, it's, it takes beautiful pictures. Uh, an inspirational object is probably this. Um, it's a um, Mac football helmet, obviously, um, and it's got signatures of all the people that I've shot in Green Bay. Um, I've got an ongoing personal project about the the uh, people and fans of Green Bay, Wisconsin, um, which is a little town um, in Wisconsin by the Great Lakes. Um, and I go there and I photograph um, people's houses. Um, I mean, it's a, a crazy place um, full of characters. But I have this by my desk to inspire myself to actually finish this project because it's been going on a lot longer than I'd originally planned. But, um, but yeah, that's probably my inspirational object. <laughs> Uh, I have a kind of love-hate relationship with Instagram. Um, sometimes I'm really active on it. Sometimes I don't put anything up for a while. Um, I think it's obviously a really good way to promote your work. It's a really good way to get feedback on your work. Um, although I think it's very oversimplistic um, to kind of to judge your work just based on the number of likes you get. And I think that can is the trouble that I have with it. Um, I think it's useful to a point. Um, and I, I do try to push myself to put more stuff on there. But, um, but like I said, sometimes I'm active, sometimes I'm not.